Hey Weeblos, welcome back to our second DEN meeting here in May. As always, I'm your DEN leader, Sheldon. Let's go ahead and stand up for our Pledge of Allegiance, Scout Oath, and Scout Law. All right. Scout Salute. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Please join me in the scout sign and repeat the scout oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Please join me in the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean and reverent. Two. Hey Weeblos, here in our second den meeting, we're gonna talk about this weird word of geology. Geology has to deal with rocks. So what we're gonna focus on is what is geology with these rocks? Where do the rocks come from? And what's really special to Minnesota? Let's go find out. Join me in this awesome quest about geology. Hey Weeblos, today what we're gonna talk about is this cool word geology. But what is geology? Geology is the study of Earth, and not only the study of our Earth that we live on, but all the rocks that go underneath it. All the different things and how they're formed, like are they formed from lava, or are they just formed from pressure by two pieces of rocks pushing against each other really hard? How do diamonds form? Well, geology teaches us that. There's so many cool things that geology has taught us. For instance, what our Earth used to be, and now with geology we can even predict what it will be. So geology is really important to us scouts and we need to best use it to keep our earth alive. Today we're looking at the geology around the Minnesota River. But to understand the geology around the river, we have to step back in time millions of years ago to when an ancient sea covered Minnesota. Now in that ancient sea, there was invertebrates and other animals that swum around and lived there. But as they died, their bodies floated to the ocean floor over time, these invertebrates were crushed on the ocean floor and they were crushed into what we call now limestone. You can find limestone all along the Minnesota River Valley. It's even used to create buildings in St. Paul and Fort Snelling. The limestone we just saw in that video wasn't always visible to us because it was under so much earth. But thanks to our glaciers, we're able to see them because when those glaciers melted, they created giant bodies of water. And as these giant bodies of water went away, they created a lot of cool things. What did they create, Annie? Yeah, so those giant bodies of water had to drain somewhere eventually. So as they drained down Minnesota, they did this process called erosion, which was moving sediment from one area to another. And this created what we call the Minnesota River today. But it wasn't always the Minnesota River. Way back thousands of years ago, it was called the Mighty River Warren, and it was actually five miles across. It was huge. But then it drained away, and all we have left now is the Minnesota River. Now, you used a really cool word right there, Annie, erosion. What does it mean to erode something? So erosion is just moving sediment from one place to another. It doesn't disappear. It's just moving. Awesome. Now, as the River Warren carved out the land and exposed the limestone we saw earlier, it actually exposed some of the oldest rock in the world. At the bottom of the river floor, you can see what's called Morton Nice. It's 3.6 billion years old, so old. So they use Morton Nice in buildings all around the world because it's beautiful. It's got a marbled red look. Hmm. That's really awesome, Annie. And now I know one really important thing for all Weeblos to do is start looking at rocks for themselves and really finding different types of rocks. We've learned about Morton Nice, we've learned about limestone, but let's see if we can't find some real examples of other ones. So I have a few examples down here by us. I'm gonna pull them up and we're gonna try and talk about and even look at each one to see how they're different or how they're same. And we're gonna talk about a hardness scale. What is a hardness scale? So the hardness scale is called the Mohs scale of hardness and we can test a rock by just scratching it to see if it starts to fall apart or if it holds its place. Yeah, I know you told me that a rock like limestone is usually pretty weak. So what I've got right here is some granite and all you said is we scratch it against each other and we see if anything falls. Yep. So I'm gonna try and scratch it. Let's see if anything can see anything. I see a bunch of dust coming down here from the limestone. 
So what does that mean for our limestone? That means that the limestone is softer than the granite. Interesting. So now we have some granite right here. I've also got some copper ore. Look how cool that is. And Annie, can you kind of feel this? So this, I don't know if you scouts can see, but it's really thin, but also it's really heavy. Yeah, it's small, but heavy. Yeah, so that's copper ore. Let's try scraping that one, see if we can't get anything. Yeah, I don't see anything coming off of that one. It must be pretty tough. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and let's try scratching this with our ore. Now I'm seeing a little bit of dust fall down. Hmm. Yeah, so that means the copper is stronger than the granite? Yeah. Very awesome. Also have this, which is copper gold. All right, it's not real gold. It's some mixed in stuff in there. So can you kind of see that shine there, Annie? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. This one's really heavy. What do you think about that one? Oh, really heavy. Yeah. Why don't you give this one a scratch? I don't think I'm seeing much, Sheldon. No, me neither. Let's try swapping them. Ooh, do you see that? Yeah, a little tiny bit. Here, want to give me my copper ore back? I'm going to give us one more here. All right, Annie, so my last one I have here is some coal. That's really cool, like we always hear about coal, but we never really get to see a chunk of coal in person. And so we need that copper ore is actually really heavy for being thin. Lift up this one, Annie. Ugh. Oh, that's actually really light. Yeah, compared to everything else, even though it's so big, it's actually coal is really light and really soft. Why don't you go ahead and give this one a scratch and let's see what happens. Whoa, there's Falling chunks apart. flying everywhere. I better hold it on my hands underneath, whoa. We're losing some coal over here. Yeah, so that's so cool we get all of this stuff. So that's a little bit about geology and what geology is, all the way from glaciers making lakes, which form our awesome rivers and lakes we have here in Minnesota, to all the way showing this cool limestone that we have. But it's up to you to figure out how you can do this at your own home and try to figure out your own Mohs hardness scale. You can go around your neighborhood, try to find some rocks, go on, even in your own backyard and really find some really cool stuff and do your own scratch test to find out what is the hardest substance that you have around your own home. You can even take a walk in your own community, look at the buildings and see if you can identify what they're made out of and what stones were used to build them. It's up to you, Weeblos, to have a really fun time and continue learning about this cool world of geology and finding out what you love about it. See you next time. Hey Scouts, thank you for joining us on this awesome adventure we have here in this Cub Connections program. Ben, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was going on our nature hike. We got to go through Fort Snell and get to see some really cool signs of nature. Yeah, we did so many fun things. And Annie, what other announcements do we have? Yeah, Cub Scouts, don't forget to join us at our last pack meeting in May. Can't wait to see you all there. Yeah, so thank you for joining us. And as always, from your den leader, Sheldon, from your den leader, Annie, and from your den leader, Ben, We'll see you guys next time, and as always, see you on the scouting trail. trail.